What's up guys, Emma Law here bringing you another tutorial. I know it's been a while, but here we go, another tutorial. I'm bringing you guys the Mix Bold Effect, Phase Mix Bold Effect, as you see right here. Um, I have two examples here, just before I do another tutorial. Um, uh, phase Mix used it in his Phase, phase Twist, it can twist it 17, and I used it in my Maze Townies chair style. But um, this is his effect because I actually bought it from him. I got his, I got his um, numbers, so... um. I'm not gonna say how much about it for him, but I'm gonna show you guys the tutorial because it's a very nice tutorial, and yeah. But here's the first example. Right there, you see how the bulge right here. See the bulge right here, and that's the effect. So um, here's the example I used it in. See, it's the same. It's the same. So um, yeah. Let's just show you guys about it. So um, let's close these tabs. Open up After Effects. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably gonna be submitting this to a couple of tutorial channels because I don't want to get known because like I don't know I think I can make some good tutorials because I got into a way better editor since my first tutorial I have no idea when that was but um yeah so I got about the facts open up <sighs> hmm. Okay, here we go. Uh, press Control N, make new comps, whatever. Control I, open up a clip. Trick shot, just get trick shot it. Try to get into our comp. Okay, first you're gonna want to see what the shot is. You know, blah blah blah. You guys all know this stuff. I like doing it in the kill cam, so I'm just gonna look with the kill cam. Where is it? Then I'll do it in the kill cam. And turn off the audio. Where did he shoot? Okay, right here. I'm just gonna import an intervention sound. You know, I want to make this tutorial good. I'm not gonna leave out something that I should have added in tutorial. Okay, Just press left bracket to line it up with the with the marker. Okay, first, well not now. You want to um, look up in your effects and presets. Type in bulge, b u l g e. It comes with After Effects. I'm pretty sure it does. So just drag it right on to your clip, around to where the shot is. Go one keyframe back keyframe the the bold height and the bold vertical radius and the bold horizontal radius make sure the bold height is at zero at the keyframe before the shot when you keyframe it and keyframe the horizontal radius you put them at zero and then go one keyframe forward that would be your shot change the horizontal radius to 800 vertical radius to 802 change the bold height to zero point six or seven like phase me gave me zero point seven but I really don't like it because I'm right here I have my notes zero point seven yeah um I really don't like zero point seven I like zero point six better but you guys can do whatever you want and then I like to twixer it too I'll do that later and then, like going to the end and changing it down to like zero point four have it gradually go down I think it looks pretty cool when it does that so it goes here it shoots and it gradually slows down so then yeah, let's just go ahead and pre-render this. I don't think I'm gonna twix it. You guys you guys get it, you guys can do whatever you want. Make it look cooler and stuff. And pre-render that. I also um I have CS After Effects CS4 and um so he gave me the preset to download, I downloaded it, but since he has CS six it didn't work my CS4 because I have a thirty two bit comp so a computer, so I wanna get a sixty four bit for Christmas. But um so I'll leave the download link for the for the preset actually in the description if you guys have sixty four bit, but I'll to explain later. Here's the example. See that and then it gradually fades down. I really like it and also here to enhance it um I like to add okay where is it a CC light burst I'm not sure if this comes with After Effects I really don't know I kinda forget if I got it or not somewhere go on keyframe back 
set the intensity to zero and the ray length to zero. Keyframe them both at zero before the shot. Go on keyframe. Put it up. I like putting it to like a hundred and like two. Oh, voice crack. I did two and put it to like forty five. Nah, that's a little bit too much. How about let's do eighty for intensity, and then maybe like now nah, put like fifty for intensity. And I can't remember. I actually didn't put that much. Uh, put twenty for the ray length. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So fifty for the intensity, twenty for the ray length. And then same again. Go to the end of the clip. And just fade it out. Put it to zero. Put it to zero. Then one more. One more thing I like to add is a little bit of twitch. This is all optional if you guys want to do this at Twitch in the CC Light Burst. It's all optional. So you guys don't have to do this, but I like doing it because I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if Twitch needs to go on top for it to work. I'm just going to do that. Okay, keeping the mount both at zero and the mount and speed. And drop down the enable button right here. Keyframe to t slide in time. Go one keyframe forward to where the shot is. Put the amount to 20. What the fuck? Put down to 20 and put the speed to 10. Let's see how long. Okay, it's only 6 minutes. So amount 20, speed 10. Keyframe slide in time. And then you're gonna see. I really like these settings. And also, Twitch might have like black on the side. Of that a little keyframe when it twitches you guys know if, if you guys use twitch it kind of moves around so right when the shot shoots go on your clip press s on your keyboard go one keyframe back keyframe to scale at 100 go forward with the keyframes to the shot i put it to like 105 or to 103 you gotta put 104 now 103 is good it's barely noticeable when it actually happens so that's good it's all good then same thing for the twitch, you want to fade it out. I just totally lost topic. Just fade out the twitch, zero, and zero. Okay, let's go ahead and keyframe, well, not keyframe, but pre-render that. So like, yeah, I'll, like I was going to say again, you got to leave the download link for the preset in the description. And if you guys don't know how to use presets, you just drag it onto the adjustment layer or the clip and it already has it for you. So you don't have to do what I just did. You can just drag onto the bulge and then yeah. If you guys have CS6, I'll put that in the description if you guys want to download it. So let's see how this looks. I really like this effect. And I'm also going to show another effect I got from Phase Meek. Um, he, I got it from his half price selling for presets and stuff. I really like it. He used it in his ill cam. I'm not going to say where it was in the ill cam. I'm going to show you guys that pretty soon. I don't know because uh, I haven't been able to go on my... um my regular computer to edit because I got kinda got grounded. <laughs> but um I don't know when I'm gonna get it back, so yeah. So I don't know when I'm gonna be able to edit, so I'm just making tutorials right now. That's why you guys saw the after effects, the thing it didn't have the full after effects. I'm using a very old computer. And it's really shitty. Okay, here we go. See, that's pretty cool. The CC light burst is very fadeable. You can barely see it. Right when you hit the shot, here again. Right when you hit it, you can see a little bit the CC light burst. I think it looks pretty cool. You guys can tone down the twitch a little bit. It looks like a little bit too much. But you guys can tone it down and see. You guys didn't even notice the the screen going up a little bit see you guys it doesn't even notice noticeable see look you try to look it's not even noticeable so yeah that's a tutorial for you guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this and um thank you for anybody who posted on the channel tutorial channels you know editor class editor school baker's community touch might said i to him but um yeah uh thanks for watching and uh subscribe and come to my channel if you're watching on a different channel so um yeah peace out guys